And of course, this could not have happened without a lot of help from our dedicated friends and allies, the peace and justice community. Move on, Marin. Marin Peace and Justice Coalition, Social Justice Center of Marin, Move On Sonoma, Sonoma Peace Center, Progressive Democrats of America, and Veterans for Peace. Let's thank them. Thank you. My friends, we've been at war now for almost 10 years straight. I have five beautiful grandchildren. Two of them are here today, by the way. And not one of them can remember a time when our nation wasn't at war. Invading and occupying foreign countries, often killing other people's grandchildren. These wars are degrading, they're dehumanizing, and we must, we must oppose them fearlessly. Ten years, that's the longest war in American history. I know there are plenty of us here today who have a vivid memory of the second longest war in American history, of what Vietnam did to the psyche of our nation. The toll it took on an entire generation. And now I fear we're heading down the same terrifying ro road. Ten years of war and no apparent end in sight. You'll remember that we were promised a significant drawdown of troops on 2011. Then they said, no, we didn't mean that. We actually think we'll be there until 2014. Now, the talk is about permanent military bases in Afghanistan. Don't they get it? Don't they see that every day we have boots on the ground is another day that we breed resentment? Another day that we embolden the terrorists? Another day that we endanger our troops and undermine our national security? Are we going to stand for that? No. Of course we're not. The price we're paying for war is too steep. The human cost has been too devastating. Tomorrow, when families gather for Father's Day, how many children will be without a father or a mother because of these wars? More than 6,000 of our brave servicemen and women went to Iraq and Afghanistan and never came home. Thousands more made it home, but with physical wounds that will never go away. Still more will suffer from psychological damage and post-traumatic stress that can't be spotted with the naked eye, but nonetheless destroys lives. And then there are all the civilian casualties that we've inflicted. Thousands upon thousands of innocent people in Iraq and Afghanistan who've been killed or maimed for the cause of their so-called liberation. The war is bankrupting us, not just morally, but fiscally too. No one sacrificed more than the men and women of the U.S. military who have been on the front lines, but every single taxpayer is paying a price as well. Afghanistan alone is now costing us $10 billion a month. $10 billion a month, $10 billion a month, at a time when so many of our neighbors and fellow Americans have fallen on hard times. $10 billion a month, think about how far that money could go toward providing health care, rebuilding our schools, or protecting our environment. Every day, every day I deal with a majority in the House of Representatives who think our deficit is so bad that we need to destroy Medicare. 
but they don't lose a wink of sleep spending $10 billion a month for a military occupation in Afghanistan. Last week alone in Washington, the House passed a bill with my, without my vote, I can assure you, that cuts hundreds of millions of dollars from the WIC program, women, infants, and children. There you have their priorities. Pinch pennies for, on nutrition for pregnant women and babies, but write a blank check to wage wars. So how many more of our people have to die before this stops? How many more have to leave limbs behind in Afghanistan? How many more billions do we have to spend to waste and waste before we finally erase this moral blight of our nation? I've had enough. Have you had enough? Yes. We will not be silenced, will we? No. Because we speak for the majority of the American people who are saying they've had enough too. This is the moment to be heard. This is the moment for people of courage and conscience to speak out. This is the moment to express our patriotism by saying loud and clear, it's time for peace. It's to time to support our troops by bringing them home. Thank you.